Hey, I'm Darcy, and welcome to Screencasts Online. It's been quite a few years since we visited today's app, Day One. This journaling app, available on iPhone, iPad, Mac, and even the web, provides a much more accessible experience than Apple's own journaling app, which for now is available only on iPhone. Over those years, Day One has added some great functionality, like templates, so you can get started with your entries more easier. And they've fully embraced series shortcuts and widgets too, so you can directly add to or create entries outside of the app. Day One is available from the App Store across all devices, and also through the developer website, which is linked below. So let's jump right in. As you can see, I'm starting with an entirely empty journal. From here, we'll explore all the different ways you can add entries into the journal and what you can add within those entries, such as media and locations. The plus here on the bottom will add a blank entry, but I want to focus this on the daily prompt at the top. Journaling every day can be very beneficial for your health, but it can sometimes be a struggle to think of what to write about. And that's where these daily prompts come in. Every day you get a different sentence, a different thing to think about, before you start typing. I'll click answer, and a new entry is created with the prompt at the top. So I'll type in a few thoughts, and already we've got the makings of our first journal entry. Towards the top, you can see information such as the day and date, and even time that this entry is created. And beneath that, you can also see, although I've blurted out, the location that you're at, and also the weather outside. Let me click this window shifting icon, and now our entry takes up the entire screen. Shifting our attention to the bottom right, we have some icons that will help us add things into our entry. Click the photos icon, and this actually gives us three different ways of adding media in. The first is by selecting a photo from your library. I'll pick one of my cat, and hit add in the top right corner. I'm prompted asking if I want to use attachment time. Now this time and date below is different to when I've created this journal. I'll click yes, and notice in the top left corner, our date has changed from Wednesday the 29th of Jan to the 27th of January. It's recontextualizing this entry around the media that we've put into it. Head back to the photos icon in the bottom right, and this time, I'm going to click on the video camera. Using the camera in my iPad, I can shoot a video and have it placed directly into the entry. You'll notice the controls are identical to the camera app, but for video only. Hit cancel. I'll go back. And this time, I'll select the camera icon. From here, I will take a still image. Then hit add one at the top. If you took multiple photos, this will actually save the amount of photos that you took. We get the same prompt about changing the entry date and time. I'll click yes again. And we're back to Wednesday, the 29th of January. Now hit on the paper clip which is the middle icon in the right hand side. There's much more information we can add in from here, and I'll start with tags at the top. Tags will help you categorize your entries with matching information. So I'll add a few in here like cat, tree, and sunny. These are all relevant so far to my entry. And if I later want to search my entries for Cat, I'll more easily be able to find content about him. Hit done. Head back to the paperclip. And select audio. Instantly, day one starts recording from your microphone. You can see a word count is increasing. And when you're finished, hit the stop button.